Hello everyone, I'm uh, recording this on uh, actually New Year's Eve of 2015. What this is, is this is going to be a webinar on the easy steps to get you set up right away in the Conversion Pros. We have a ton of awesome training all over the website uh, for you to learn um, all the advanced techniques. So we have webinars here in the webinar section that really will get you uh, to the next level on the system itself. Uh, one of the ones I want you to pay attention to is tips and tricks on how to build the capture page. I also want you to pay attention to um, the uh, funnel system, building a killer funnel system, following these steps. Those two are really good to watch on system setup. But some of you uh, have some basic questions uh, that you get stuck on, and uh, I'm going to show you right now. The first step, realistically, is if you, you're going to build a capture page, just click on the landing page builder. And once you click here to set it up, we do have training videos here, but to set it up, you're just going to go click on add, this add button right here. That's how you're going to get into the templates. And once you're in the templates, you can easily choose any of these templates. You'll notice some doesn't have a video and some do have videos. Okay. And so once you're in, you just click on one of them. It's going to take you to a template. It's going to open up. Now, I'm just going to go over some of the simple features. Again, there's a lot of advanced features that you can do, but I want to get you set up right away. A couple things. First of all, you want to name the page. So let's say I was going to do make money in 2016. All right, page name. This is very, very important. Page name has to be one single word, and it cannot start with a number. So let's say I'm going to do New Year. I'll name the page New Year. Now, custom redirect URL, we're not going to get into yet. We're not going to get into autoresponders, things like that yet. I will teach you that here down the pike. So let's just do this here. Actually, redirect URL, you could put your redirect URL in here where you want it to go. Let's say www.mybusiness.com. Um, one of the things is you have to have HTTP in front of it. If not, it will not save. Okay? So, a lot of people say, Dave, I go to save the landing page and it won't save. And two big biggest mistakes that people make is they either have um, multiple words here with spaces under page name when it needs to be one word, or they typed in www to their website, but they did not have HTTP. So it will not save if this these two forms are not set up correctly. Okay, now that you know that, a couple other things. As soon as you edit, you can click if you click on the word and this box comes up, this box allows you to change the color. So if you wanted the white a different color, like a red, you would just select what color here. I mean, you can literally mouse all around and see all the different color combinations or mouse up and down here and see all the different color combinations. And then you hit choose and the text will change color. On this box, you have multiple different things too. Text shadows, if you watch closely here, if I play with it, you can see how it kind of pops out the page, the background, just with this slider here. Or if I do spread, you can see it gets kind of cloudy behind there. And uh, all these functions work good. You really don't need to do a box shadow. Um, background is kind of a neat feature. So if you click on background, you can add a box. And you can actually play with how translucent it is, you see? So if you got a picture in the background that kind of hides the text, you could add one of these boxes to help it pop out a little bit more. If you don't want it at all, you just go all the way down. Um, miscellaneous is the padding, which is spacing between, you see how it's pushing it down on the page. You really don't need to mess with that too much. But okay, now once you change the text color, you notice this is a very important button, this edit text. You click on edit text, and when you click on that, it allows you to change the text. So you can go here and, and type in, this is where you type. Okay, and again, if you want to go back and change the color, you click on Edit Design. Click back again, and then it switches to this. So if you see this box, you can't edit the text. You could edit all the colors, spacing. Also, you got spacing, bold, thin, all kinds of stuff down here. But if you want to change the text, what you wrote, you have to click on Edit Text button. So this button actually toggles back and forth between editing text and changing 
colors. And even down here, you can actually change the font if you want to. Okay. Now you can change all these different texts, you know, change it. Now, sometimes let's say you don't want these things in here. Maybe you just want to write this line, this line, and this line, and you don't want this. Well, if you come over here and you press that button, the color comes up. You see, I can't, I can't delete the text here when this box comes up, but if I come back and click on edit text, I can literally come in here and hit delete and I could hit delete just like that. And so now I have, you know, the, the, the forms I want to fill out here are uh, the text I want to fill out here. So again, this edit text and edit design button is how you do it. It's very easy. One click and, and you're off to the races. Now, to change the background, it's you can change the background of the page two different ways. We actually have, whoop, we have tons of backgrounds that are built in. So you can just do one click and you'll be able to change the backgrounds in one click just like that. We have tons of them loaded up depending on, you know, what your business is about. I mean, there are so many really great ones that we have loaded back here uh, for you to use. I mean, just a million different types of backgrounds and styles, depending what industry you're in. You can feel free to go through here, scroll through them, click on any of these, and the background changes in one single click. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now, if there is a background here that you don't want, or let's say, let's say you're in a business, um, you know, I, there's so many different companies out here, but let's say you're you're in a water business. So I can go to Google and type in water, and there's all kinds of water backgrounds. So let's say I wanted a glass of water or drinking water. Okay. There's all kinds. So let's say I wanted this background right here and this wasn't built in. All I'm going to do is right click on it with my mouse. I'm going to click down and click on copy image address. It might say copy image URL. I'm going to immediately take this back and hit um, provide background. And I'm just going to paste that in the box and press enter. And immediately that background from Google gets added to the background where then I could edit this text out. So it's that easy. So again, you could go to Google, grab any image that you want. Let's say I'd rather have this image. Again, it's as easy. Make sure it loads all the way too. If it's blurry, the image has it loaded all the way and it will give you a blurry background. Make sure it loads uh, fully. Click on copy, copy image address. Go back over here, provide background, paste, enter. And it's that easy to change the background. And again, if you want to change the color here, let's say we're going for blue, it's as easy as one click changing. This, this system is very, very simple. One thing I want to point out too is you could change the button color. If I click on the button, uh, I click on background. You see how this yellow comes up. Let's say I wanted to match that blue. I can do that and the button changes. But you notice there's still a little bit of yellow back there. On box shadows, you would just go and change it to blue or maybe black to make a shadow and then just play with it. I like to I make like to make the shadow of the box pop out a little bit underneath to make it look a little bit more 3D. Um, and that's how you change this. So you can match all the colors on your page. Um, you can literally change that as well. Okay, so this is a static page. Let's go over here and do a video page real quick. Okay, so we're just going to take any video page. Okay, so it's the same thing. You could edit all the text. Remember, you're going to toggle this button here. So if I double click on this and this comes up, I can't edit the text right now, but what I can edit is the color or or the, 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 uh, the fun or anything, just like I just showed you. You can do that. Now, to edit the text and write something different, you got to click on Edit Text, come back, and then you'll see a cursor. Hey, you. All right, now, now I want to show you one other thing here too, is when I come back to edit design, you can actually go down and hit center 
and do centering with it as well. So you see how I could, you could center. So there's a lot of fun things you can do. Again, if you don't want this, you go back to edit text when you see a cursor, you come back and hit delete and, and take things off the page. Same with up here. Again, to change the background, you can add one of our backgrounds that's already built in here, just like that. Just click on them and it can change the backgrounds. Very easy. I know with, when you're dealing with video though, Sometimes the backgrounds aren't very easy to see left and right because this takes up a lot of room on the page. So sometimes a background like this that's static um, looks a little bit better than a, a background with a big graphic. But if you wanted to go to Google and you wanted to choose a background, again, this one's not going to show because the video is going to block it. But just to show you, you copy image address. You could come back here and click on provide background, hit paste, hit enter, and immediately the background's back there obviously you can't see it but how do you change the video the video is very easy when you click on the edit text button you see it changes see when I click on edit design a video is there when I click on edit text there's this little box that comes up now YouTube allows you or on YouTube every video has an ID so if I click on uh, this Saturday Night Live video here okay the easiest way to do this is if I click on share every video has what they call an ID on it so when I click on share you see this after the slash this F3 right here to the to the Y that's the code I'm actually gonna take it from my address bar though cause it's easier to copy I'm just gonna right click on it and click on copy I'm gonna go back here to the video page and hit paste just like that and you see it's that exact code we just looked at and then I'm just going to click on the edit design button down here and that video is instantly loaded in so you can take any video off of YouTube and build video capture pages we also have I'm not going to click on it um, for people to see all the codes but if we have generic videos marketing videos here that you can actually take the code right from our generic marketing video section and also add those videos right into your capture page and we have a training on that page on how, how that works so that's that's easy thing again you're gonna need if you wanted to save this page let's I'll just keep it video capture page three but page name has to be one word maybe I'll name it video and then your redirect has to go to HTTP www and whatever your website my website.com to save it okay so that's how you do the basics, how you save the pages, how you do quick edits. Again, we have a lot more advanced training in the back office um, for you to see. But that's how the basics of getting your pages set up. Now let's talk about getting an autoresponder set up. So you could have a message series based with your autoresponder set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on autoresponder builder. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on add because you want to add a new autoresponder. All right. The first thing you see is something that says inactive. Do not change this yet. To add messages, it has to be inactive. Okay, so let's say you're going to name a label. I'm just going to call this New Year's. You might call it prospects. You might call it sales. You might call it product, you know, depending on what you want to do. I'm just going to name it New Year's. And then I'm going to hit save. Once I hit save, up here you'll see where it says message list right above it message list I'm gonna click on that you will see there's no messages in this yet I'm going to click on add I wanna add a message now the only time you need to change this one time just on the first message order number zero delay number zero that means your message is going to go out right away so as soon as they opt in it already has your first name your last name your email built in if you wanna change this you can just delete this and change it um, subject, you know, um, you might want to say thanks for wanting info. I have my caps lock on, so obviously I would change that. I want to keep it in all caps. But then down here, a couple things. First of all, if you hit this little full screen, you could hit full screen and make it easier to write a message. Okay. Um, hello. And then we also have tags. It never works when I hit it right now with the, the, the screencast on. But the first name tag is this little squiggly right here. A little squiggly looking. And if I type in first name, it will add their first name. 
squiggly. And then side right, uh, thanks for wanting info. You know, watch this video here. And maybe I'd have a link right to my page. HTTP www.mybusiness.com Questions, call me. You know, name, phone, etc. However you want to set up your autoresponder. Um, and then you can click on save. We do have some generic messages. I did add some. Everybody asked me to add some. We do have those in the back office. Um, but okay, so I save this. So now what I can do is I'm just going to click on details above. And then I'm going to click on message list. And you're going to see a message right here. And it's going to go out. The, see the order and the delay? It's going to go out the first day, the first minute someone pops in your form. I'm just going to add one more message and show you. You can add as many messages as you want. All you're going to do again is click on add. I want to add message number two. You don't have to change this. This is set up to go 24 hours out after the first message. So I might say, hello, or did you watch the presentation? I have a lot more training in the back office on this. Again, this is just a simple setup. Hello, first name. Did you see the presentation I sent you yesterday? Watch it here, http .mywebsite.com. Now, one thing you want to do is I'm just going to highlight this website and hit Control C to copy. And then you see this link? This will link it. If I hit Control V, that website goes there. So Control C to copy, Control V to put it in there. And then it makes it clickable. Okay? Then questions call me. Name. Phone. Okay. Then I'm going to hit save. So after I did that, I click on the details, click on message list, and now you'll see you have two messages. One's going to go out the first day, one's going to go out the next day, and then you could add as many as you want. So very important step here, though, some people miss, is you need to go back to details and change it. Once you have all the messages you want, change it from inactive to active. This activates the messages. Okay? So you got to make sure you do that. You click on save. And then once you do that, you want to go back to your landing page builder, open up one of your pages. So let me just open up a page here. And by, but by the way, to open up a page and edit it, you see all these little boxes right next to the pages that you've created. Um, you want to click on edit. And it's going to open in a new tab. Some of you might have a pop-up blocker that blocks it when it opens up, but you should see an error. So some people click on that tab and say, it's not opening up, it's not opening up. They're not looking in their browser or a pop-up blocker had blocked it. So make sure that's another major thing. So right here it says mail campaign. Okay. Where do you want it to go? Well, I have tons of emails in here. So I would just pick one. You see the one I have, New Year's? I would click on New Year's and click on Save. Now anytime someone puts in their name, email, and phone number and hits Take a Free Tour, that email series that we just built would automatically start getting emailed to them on autopilot. So you had to make sure it was active and you had to make sure you attached it to the mail campaign to your pages. The cool part is, is after you have one set up, you can make unlimited pages and link them all to the same autoresponder. So you don't need an autoresponder for every page that you make. You can do that, but you can have one autoresponder with all the messages that you want and have 10 or 20 pages built that all point to that same autoresponder that you have set up. So that's how to set up the autoresponder. That's how you set up the capture pages. Now, a few other things real quick. Once you have your system and you want to go advertise it, you click on get link. Now, you'll see it's very long here. 
Now what you want to do is you want to highlight it and you want to hit Control C on your keyboard. If you're on a Mac, it's Command C. And then if I wanted to put it in the browser, I would hit Control V and I would hit Enter. And then that page would open up just like that. But one more quick step you can do is use the teeny URL system which we actually have a video on how to do that um, but I would highly watch the video on the teeny URL system to learn how to take longer links and make them short shorter so for example if I click edit here I would take that long link here like that and I make it shorter just like this and then I could copy that link and go advertise that link instead so that's the basics uh, again one of the things I want you to pay attention to is going into your TCP webinars and in the webinar section we have uh, tips and tricks on the capture page builder where I get into a little bit more advanced training and then I also would like you to watch this build a killer funnel system here and also there is a more advanced training on the autoresponders but I wanted to do a quick training video so if you're brand new and you just got the system and you want to put out pages extremely quickly um, the tips that I just gave you allow you to go build capture pages and once you get the hang of it you can build capture pages in literally minutes um, and, and uh, whatnot so hopefully that helps get you past some of the very very basics of getting it set up again we have a lot more training that's more advanced for you but if you follow what I just showed you you could have your pages set up and your autoresponders set up uh, immediately um, and, and have the system working right away Talk to you later.